There it is. Jack sends it deep, takes a bounce. Lincoln Sudbury manages well. Lincoln Sudbury over the ball, runs a forward, crash ahead, and gets the balls out, out to their backs. Oh. There's a drop ball. Belmont. Belmont with the knock forward there, trying to gather that loose ball. And so we'll have a scrum down to Lincoln Sudbury at right about the Right about the 14, that's the kind of defensive pressure we're looking for. That's tonight. right, straight away. I think the, the line were right up. The Lincoln tried to attack from deep in their own half, which is adventurous, and we love to see that. But Belmont pressed that line and, and forced an error, I think, and now of the advantage with the... Uh, it is a Belmont put-in, right? No, it's a Lincoln Sudbury oh. put-in because the Belmont player uh, knocked it forward trying to gather that ball. I but thought it's that was still a first uh, knock on, that's why. But yeah. anyway, so still a good position for uh, to press home some more advantage here. So Lincoln Sudbury. Oh, good scrum, good, good drive. Good scrum by yeah. Belmont. So here come the Warriors again, crashing a forward pod ahead. Rucking well. Belmont line ready to defend. And there's the kick out. Clearance, high kick. Wyatt Sclafani taking it at pace. Shaking one tackler, shaking another. Ball goes backwards. And lost to Lincoln Sudbury. A good counter ruck there by Lincoln Sudbury. So let's see if Belmont can make up for that. That was a good, great run out of, deep, out of uh, the return kick there, but turned it over. Ball retention, the name of the game. The name of the game. Oh, well done. That was Brian McCarthy there with a, looked like a good steal, but not sure what that uh, call was. It coming in or off the side, I think? I think so, off, yeah. coming in off the side or hands in, not sure. So we'll have a penalty kick to Lincoln Sudbury. They try to find touch and send a ball right our way. Ah, oh, there we go. Fielded well. There's a Belmont dad who should be on the field. So, again, in, in this situation in a penalty kick, the team that's uh, kicked into touch will get the throw in and therefore have the advantage of the call in the line out. Nice line out by Lincoln Sudbury. The Warriors go wide to the 10. They find the corner. Big tackle. Big tackle push Looked back like there. Looks like Jediah making the hit. And the Warriors swing the ball the other way. It's a good passage of play here by Lincoln, but Belmont's defense is kind of holding up here. That's good. Not a lot of ground gain since that line out. Oh, they, have, they could have a ball here. Uh, speaking of holding up, they have yeah. held the player up and created um, the yeah. ball situation, and Belmont wins the advantage for the scrum down. <coughs> Beautiful defense. Very, very nice, right? So right where, we, where that, almost where the line of that uh, throw-in was just a few minutes ago, and despite Lincoln's best efforts to move the ball wide, they gained no ground, and Belmont very uh, astutely held them up in the tackle, um, which they now get the, the put in. So I think this is sort of something worth, I used to always, when I started playing rugby, would be confused with the ruck in the mall and what was what, right? And, and for our viewers, the mall is a situation where no player is on the ground and the ball is held up, correct, Peter? And then the team that have the ball lose the advantage, right, in, the, in, the, in that situation. Yes, unless they can drive and get a good drive going and, and, have, uh, and have forward momentum and, um, and can play the ball out. Uh, but if it's held up, you're right. The advantage, scrum advantage goes to the other side. Oh, a little bit of a sloppy ball there. Oh. Jediah bobbles it. Gathered. Played back in. Jediah goes to ground, resets. Belmont looking to organize. Forwards crash ahead. Just trying to get reorganized here. And again, forward crash. That was Tamar. Looked like he picked from the ruck and drove forward there, lays it back. 
Uh-oh. It's Brian there, the hooker. A little bit isolated, but he does find Jediah with the offload. Nice play. And the ball goes out wide. There's Wyatt. Zach Zadam. Good hard run by Zach. There's an opportunity here. Oh, powerful. Oh, oh, he held it. Not forward, though. Oh, penalty to, Bel uh, to Belmont. Lincoln Sudbury offside there. So, uh, really good opportunity here for a uh, kick into touch and a, a line out, hopefully. Yep, line out to Belmont. Right here at the 15. Or the 20. Both teams making a few little errors to start the first five minutes, but um, maybe a little uh, a little nerves to start the game, but I think they'll settle in now. And as you say, Belmont are in a good position. They've played most of this half so far inside of Lincoln's half, and let's see what they can do here. Throw to the back pod and the mall. Belmont mauling, strong maul there by Belmont. Ball pops out the back, it's covered. And rucked well. There's a little chip over the top. I think there was an infringement there. I think on the line out, the team crept up. They were, it was a clean line out. And Lincoln Sudbury advanced to them and the referee were was playing advantage there. Um, so, so Charlie, say a little bit more about advantage for the viewers. That's that's something that's a little uh, unfamiliar to uh, watchers of American football. Yeah, so advantage is, uh, it is at the discretion of the referee, so they'll see an infringement, and if the team that is receiving the penalty who's a, a will can gain advantage by playing continuing, the referee will let the play continue. And it could be for 30 seconds, 40 seconds. It's really at the discretion of the referee. If there's clear advantage, the play goes on. There's no penalty. But if there's no clear advantage, we come back and take the penalty. So Belmont mauling here. Maul collapses. Ball comes out. James oh, a to Jediah. Jediah. Good. Good solid defense there. And looking for that ball. The forwards reset and again. Close to the try line here. Oh no, sorry, at the five. Belmont. And uh, the Sir stops time and wants to have a little bit of a discussion with uh, Tamara Sahay, the number four. Okay. So another offsides call. There's the kick into touch. And Belmont with a very, very strong attacking position here. Five meter, at the five meter line. That was interesting. I think the referee was just telling the captain there to go talk to the sideline to just to keep, keep everybody down, keep the Comments to the, themselves on the side, so Belmont will want to watch that. Oh, there's a crooked throw. Yeah. So that throw has to go right down the channel in between the two lines of players on the uh, line out, and Belmont unfortunately uh, ball straight off to the left a little bit. So it'll be Lincoln Sudbury choice of a scrum or a line out, and they have chosen the line out interesting decision as well. I think most, most times the scrum is a more uh, for that very reason there where Belmont competed and won. Turned the advantage back to Belmont driving forward. Number eight Bryce Hubbard. New to rugby this season. Playing some great rugby for the Marauders. Strong run ahead. The ball comes out wide and again to Jediah. Out to the wing. And unfortunately a little bit of a high pass Wyatt couldn't handle it, and it'll be scrummed down to Lincoln Sudbury. So a lot of, a lot of bobbled opportunities here, Charlie. Yeah, they looked like they had an overlap going there if they could have made that pass, but 
such is the life. It's uh, practice, 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 and it all comes together, right? So, still deep inside of Lincoln Sudbury's half. They really haven't been able to get out of their half so far, and um, surely all of this pressure in the first 10 minutes of the game is going to lead to something here for Belmont. Now you've done it. Now I have. Yeah. I've jinxed us. <laughs> They're going to break so, through and run the whole end of the field. <laughs> it's a Warriors scrum. Belmont with a big push. And uh, the Sir wants to see that again. I think the ball came directly out the channel on the other side. So the ball's put into the middle of the scrum and needs to be fed back between the legs uh, of one team or the other. Um, and come out the back. If it comes directly out the channel it was put in, uh, there we redo the scrum, which is the case here. Strong scrum by Belmont. Very so strong. Each one so far, they've had a good yard push, but there's a more, more stability there from Lincoln and the Warriors. And it's Owen, is it Owen Johnson on the wing there? Owen, Owen Johnson on the wing and uh, just couldn't handle that. It was a bit of an awkward kick. Uh, Owen knocked it on and uh, Lincoln Sudbury does in fact uh, get a little breathing room here with a scrum uh, to the Warriors at the 35. So Peter, are you still involved in the coaching here with the team? Um, yeah, I've been coaching the uh, the freshmen and sophomores, the kids who are newer to the game, and uh, with 102 boys out for rugby oh this season goodness. and 50, uh, 50 kids uh, down playing C-Squad, as we call it, the developmental side. Um, we're having an absolute blast, Charlie. It's been so much fun and so much fun to see the kids, you know, just in the course of eight weeks, 10 weeks, um, catch fire for rugby and learn the game and learn every aspect of the game and, and play some really nice structured uh, rugby and just have, a, have a, a really good time together. So it's it's been fun. That's fantastic. A hundred, over a hundred kids. Like that's just incredible when you think about it, right? So what a great testament to the success of the program overall. So Absolutely. And and you, you know as well as, uh, as a dad who's had a couple of uh, girls come through the program, young women now, uh, how much it, it has meant, this community, this game, um, uh, the, the coaching staff here, how much it all means uh, to the players who are lucky enough to wear the Belmont jersey. And that is the motto, it's more than a game, right? So that's what the, the team ethos is. So if you're a middle school parent here listening or a junior high parent listening, Get your kids interested in rugby because it's a super program here at Belmont High. They really professionally run, super about um, developing young athletes, um, and more, more importantly, they develop a great community of friends to support each other. So here we are now. We're, we're on the 30-yard 30, 30 line, no, 20-yard line. Yeah, for, 22, yep. For uh, Lincoln Sudbury and Belmont have the ball out the back. There's a skip pass to Wyatt. Gets held up, manages to keep his feet moving, crashes ahead, and look like Tamara, the captain, Tamara say, hey, there's the ball out. Hard run ahead. Jediah. And the Sir saw a high tackle, I think, uh, back on the other side of the field. So again, playing that advantage, the uh, but it'll be a, a penalty kick to Belmont. And again, another opportunity here to try and put some points on the They're board. They're gonna take the kick here, yeah. I will say, like, despite the advantage, some of the tackling coming in from Lincoln Sudbury is excellent. They're, they're getting the man, the person down, they're getting the player down. It's really, uh, they're, they're well drilled on that, and some of these big charge throughs are getting stopped right at the right at the line. So these yards are hard yards for for Belmont. Looks like the touch judge on this side is uh, there. He goes trying to get under the post to watch this kick. Jack Townsend. So I don't know these players, Peter. You you may have 
cross their paths because your sons have played in the program as well the last few years. Are you? Is Jack, uh, is he senior here? Or? No, no, Jack is a, I believe Jack is a junior this year. Um, oh, and a great he, kick. Great kick. He's got a very sure foot. Um, and uh, and uh, has stepped in um, due to some injuries. We've actually, Belmont has had a lot of injuries this year. Um, nothing major, but, you know, little, little things with uh, fingers and knees and um, stuff that... Uh, that uh, has kept uh, some of the some of the more experienced players out. Jack has stepped in at number ten and filled that role very, very uh, adeptly. So it was a super kick, nice mm -hmm. through the post. Belmont's get the first points on the board with all that pressure. Fifteen minutes gone and three nil to Belmont. Short kick. Wyatt sends it back the other direction. So Belmont offsides, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that's a hard one as well. Like on a kick like that, you can't be in front of the kicker and then and then move forward. You have to move back or let the kicker come come and put you on side. So that's a very technical offside there. But Belmont, the referee quite rightly called that, and Belmont uh, lost that advantage. And now it's a line out to Lincoln Sudbury. Where are we? Just on their sort of eight yard line. 40 yard line, I don't know which way to call it here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the Marauders with a lot of opportunities down at the Lincoln Subbury end of the field and just can't put punch it in. Uh, but we did get three points on the board. Three nothing with about uh, 17 minutes, about halfway through uh, this uh, first half playing 35 minute halves as you do oh, in rugby. A, a beautiful dummy by the Lincoln Sudbury player. But Belmont defense able to catch him. And again, Belmont holding the LS player up, forming the mall. That's it, well done. And scrum to Belmont. Beautiful work. Really good, and that's not, that's not an easy thing to do. You've got to hold the full weight of, of two players probably because they're Lincoln are trying to get to the ground there so they can recycle the ball, but super play by the Belmont pack there. So while we scrum down here, why don't we go through the, the pack in the front row. Enzo Passos, Brian McCarthy, Zach Zadem playing tight head. Uh, Tamara Sehe and Iggy De La, uh, De La Fuente in the row. At the wing forwards, we have Josh Christensen and Billy Hendrickson, and at number eight man, Bryce Hubbard. It's a very solid pack so far. They've really controlled the scrums, like another one right there, nice and clean out the back line. Beautiful line. Through. I think that looked like Colin Green, the outside center. Lincoln Sudbury counter-rucking effectively, and they've done it, they've stolen the ball. Nice counter-ruck by the Warriors. It's another infringement there, the breakdown by Belmont. That was a great counter-ruck, that's twice they've done that now, so for the two malls that Belmont have gained, they've Lost the turnover twice, so. Both teams playing excellent defense. So Belmont two and two on the season uh, thus far with uh, wins um, against Algonquin and against the Varian brothers. Uh, and uh, this uh, contest will make or break a winning season. Yeah, yeah. which is uh, for the last few years, I think Belmont have not needed to have the last game to have a winning season. So they've. Uh, this has been great that the competition in the region is increasing and uh, you know, there's more kids playing rugby in, in, in different programs in different schools and they're getting better and this is, this is what the sport needs. So I think it's great to uh, have a much more competitive season for the school. So scrum down to Belmont here at uh, about the 37. Oh. 
Good scrum again. And there's the eight-man pick. It's Bryce Hubbard picking into Jediah in the middle, who's squirming around a few people. Great work there. Puts the ball back. Rook, nice rook formed. That's cleanly out. Tammer. That was Tammer there coming right through. The captain doing the captain's work. James digs that ball out to number three. That looks like Enzo. I think it was uh, when he was brought down, he didn't release, and he got up again without releasing. So that's uh, once you're once you're on the ground, you must release the ball. So that was an infringement there. Good clearance kick from Lincoln Sudbury, and the ball is like right on the five-yard line inside of Lincoln Sudbury's half. So line out to LS here. Good wide channel. You were mentioning the channel earlier. The viewers can see it right there. Nice clean throw, clean catch, and ball's fed out the back. So inside pass, but it's picked off. Looked like Jay. I'm not sure. I was the number two. So Brian McCarthy. Brian, McCar does Brian with the nice, nice heads up play there to gather that ball. And Belmont on the attack again. Forwards crashing ahead. Not much there. LS tough in defense around the breakdown. Oh, but Bryce stays in. Uh, unfortunately, not forward. So a lot of, a lot of mishandled balls on both sides here uh, this evening. And Got Not up. very fluid so far. Lots of stop, start, stop, start. So uh, I'm sure we'll get there. <clears throat> I'll tell you, like I, as we've said a few times here, it's the defenses on both sides have been excellent. Like really, any yard gained is a hard yard gained, and uh, both sides have been playing very well defensively. Belmont wins so the scrum. A turnover of a scrum, right? Well done there. And Belmont fans enlivened here. And uh, another penalty uh, called against LS. And Belmont will take uh, another shot at three points here. It's a smart decision, I think. Put the points on the board, uh, especially in a tight game like this where yards are hard to find. So take the shot and this one is more directly in line for for Jack to have a go and so Jack lines up And Excellent. sends it through. So that makes it six to nothing, Belmont, uh, with about 24 minutes gone here in the first half. And as you said, points hard to come by. Points Charlie. are hard to come by, so you got to take them like that. It's, it may not be the most exciting way to score, score, but a score is a score. And as you said earlier, it's uh, a win here tonight will give Belmont a winning season. So. I'm sure that's the goal for each of the players out there, and um, it's smart play. <clears throat> so LS with the kickoff, sends it long. And Owen Johnson having a little trouble handling that one. Rolls into touch. I don't think he touched it, however, so it will be a Belmont throw in, and Belmont will look to exit uh, deep in their own in their own half here. We haven't seen much play down this end of the field. No, it is a Lincoln throw in, so it must have got oh, a slight, must have, must have slight touched deflection, them. yeah. All right, so great position, attacking position for the Warriors. <coughs> throw uh, doesn't go in straight, and Belmont will take the scrum 
15 meters in at, uh, at about the 10. So while we scrum here, let's go through the uh, LS pack. Colin Elias at uh, number one, Emmett Dolan at two, Sam Carty at three, Dorian, Dorian Wernick at uh, four, and Simon Zarai at five, Carlin Colblow at six, and Jamal Merck at seven, and Jake Leveron uh, at eight. Gentlemen, how you doing? Good to see you, man. So, Jediah takes Breaking it out, that is powerful breakout. Keeps his legs moving. Held up there by LS, but he goes to ground. Belmont cleans up. And I think not rolling away. Oh, this is gonna be a card, it looks like. No, it's hands, I think he was. Maybe uh, trying to read the referee's expression through his hands there, but um, oh, it was just offside. Uh, that was an offside call, but he wanted to have a talk with the number four, uh, Duran Wiernick. Not sure what he saw in there, and Belmont with the kick finds touch. Nice nudge at the 50. Belmont will have the put into the lineup. Right on halfway here, so good bit of defense there for Belmont to clear out from a very uh, a, a very good attacking position for Lincoln Sudbury. So again, some of the simple simple things like a straight line out can can uh, or a crooked line out, I should say, can really lose an advantage for you. So it's the basics that matter, right, Peter? Absolutely, you have to do you have to do the simple things well, uh, and. Uh, does appear that that wind might be might be more of a factor than we thought, especially in these lineouts. Here's Belmont into Billy, clean to James. There we go. You're right. It's crooked right, again. Crooked again. So while we reset this, uh, let's go through the back line uh, for Belmont. Number nine at scrum half, James McGovern, Jack Townsend at the fly half. Uh, Inside center, Jediah. Outside center, Colin. At your wings, we have uh, Owen Johnson and Bowden Harris. And at fullback, Wyatt Sclafani. So, Ellis winning that one. But again, held up by Belmont. Oh, ripped. ripped away by Billy. Billy Hendrickson, beautiful steal of the ball. Ball comes out, Jediah manages to get the ball away. Looked, it, looked a little forward. But I think it got, yeah. oh. Just drifted forward the pass. I think he tried to loop it on the outside, on the offload, and it just went forward. Oh. Such a great break there. Great steal by Billy Hendrickson. Really, really turned that play around and great movement by the backs. I'd like to see a little more in this dry weather, a little more back line action here, I think. I think those uh, frontline incursions are able to establish a position, but great to see the back spin it out. Certainly a talented uh, Belmont back, uh, back line and one that can run. So I agree with oh. you, love to see that. Oh, yeah, like bobble by LS. Jediah in there trying to counter Ruck, but the Warriors have it. And the Warriors sending their forwards crashing ahead. Nothing there, Belmont staunch in defense. Oh. There's the offload to the number two, Emmett Dolan. So Belmont looks like off their feet in the uh, breakdown. You have to support your weight or on your feet. You're, you can't be uh, crashed over the ball. And 
the penalty to Lincoln Sudbury. About five minutes left here in the first half. Low scoring affair, Belmont six, Lincoln Sudbury nothing. And the temperature dropping a little bit. Temperature here, is dropping. <laughs> I think I could do with some hot cocoa here at halftime. Hopefully Belmont Media or, uh, org is, uh, show, is gonna supply some cocoa for us, but back to the game and that's a good breakthrough there by Owen, um, Owen Johnson. Laid the ball backward, counter rocking again. Oh, going down. So that was a good example of exactly what you were just saying. A great counter rock there by Lincoln Sudbury, but they did not stay on their feet and use their hands to keep them up, which is illegal. Penalty to Belmont. So while Belmont gets this into touch and sets up uh, their line, let's go over the back line for LS. At scrum half, Joe O'Connor, Ryan Tasker at number 10, Sebastian Quispert at uh, one of the wings. At inside center, we have Louis Stefan. At outside center, Liam Hubbard. Uh, the other wing is Pedro Da Silva, and at fullback, Oliver Reinhardt. So Belmont line. Here at about the 26, they go long to Billy. Billy can't handle it. And knocked forward by Belmont. Again, I think the wind uh, playing around with that ball Definitely. up at the top of the line out. You can just look at the flags on the side there. They've got a, they're blowing very stiffly in the, in the breeze. So it is definitely a factor. So line out to LS. A lot of set pieces here, a lot of work for the forwards. Belmont, big drive, but Ellis wins the hook. And that ball comes out. Into touch, but it went, it looked like it went directly. They were outside the 22. I think the, the scrum was outside the 22. They passed it back inside and uh, it was kicked directly out. But, uh, but with that scrum set out outside the 22 meter mark, they're gonna take this all the way back and it'll be Belmont line out with great attacking position here at about the, about the 20. Yeah, that was a good, well spotted there, Peter. That was a good, uh, good call by the referee and, and it is really big advantage now. Short line out there, well taken. It's straight in, that's a great drive. Great maul and drive there by Belmont. They're still moving forward. They're, that's great momentum. This will be Belmont hard to stop. Mall. This will Belmont be hard to mall. stop. There it is. They go to ground. James runs sideways, finds it crashing. Wyatt in, through. Can he get the ball down? And there's and the try good. scored. Well done. Wyatt pumped about that one. Managed to power that in and twist around and get that ball touchdown that was super great play from the line out they kept it short they nice and tight a great rolling mall there really hard to stop they got right up to the two yard line and fed that ball back on a purposeful move the ball was held just for a second in the back line as uh, the fullback came crashing through at full speed and no one was able to stop him great try well deserved indeed great line by Wyatt and uh, that's what you want taking the ball at pace so that makes the score 11 nothing with uh, Jack still to take the conversion kick here. And less than a minute to go uh, on the clock. Of course, the referee keeps the actual time on the field. But it's usually pretty close. Yeah. <clears throat> Unlike soccer, any penalty time in uh, Belmont that's significant will stop the, in rugby, will stop the clock. And here's Jack for the extra two. Easy kick for him, that's great. So we will get to restart the game. And, um, you know, at least one or two more plays. 
So that makes it now, what, 7, 10, 13 uh, to 0. I think that score reflects the play. Um, Belmont have had a lot of the ball. If we had our AWS stat tracker tool tonight, we'd see a lot of possession and, and territory in uh, at Belmont's advantage. But we'll just have to do it the old school way and... Uh, and believe Make us when we up. say it. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's the kick, Owen. Jukes, nice clean breaks catch. One. He's great. away on the on the sideline. Owen, out to the 50. Beautiful run. And there's Zach, out to Enzo, making meters. There's the ball. Jack, Jack, Jack is through. Again. Jack is through. Great run, all but ripped. Counter attack on by Lincoln Sudbury. Well held up. That's great. That's great driving. That's a great covering great. there by, by Belmont. Great tackle. Slowed that breakdown right down. So the Warriors taking the ball back from Belmont after a great attack off the kickoff. And LS hoping in this. minute after the half has expired clock says 36 and a half minutes belmont with the ball back jediah tripped up james digs that one out there's zach he wants it pounding his pounding his oh, legs ahead off him though again back and forth here we go charlie yes, these these rips from the tackle are very impressive by both teams And again, at a great turnover there. It looked like that was Bryce, the number eight. Oh, there's Josh. Josh oh, Christensen. Hard. Beautiful, beautiful take by Josh. In for the try with two, two minutes over the half. That's right. Well, referee, the the law, the rules of the game, the referee would restart it from the last try and let it go until an infringement or a uh, knock-on or something yep. stops it. Absolutely. So all just uh, playing to the rules here. I think there was a great, great bit of turnover there. It could have been Ignacio De La Fuente. I thought it might have been Bryce, but I think that really like turned the ball over, got it around, and then a... A uh, super try by Josh Christensen there. Such a heads forward. up try and so quick to get that ball across the line and, and touch it down. Great heads up play by Josh there. So what looked like a low scoring half is all of a sudden seeing Belmont score a couple of tries here in the last, uh, last minutes. And uh, with that, Extra two from Jack. Belmont goes into the halftime break, up 20 to nothing over Lincoln Sudbury. Don't go away, folks. We'll be right back. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Welcome back, folks, uh, to the second half of this MIAA Division I matchup, boys rugby between your Belmont Marauders and the Warriors of Lincoln Sudbury. Belmont with a burst of scoring at the end of that first half, up 20 to nothing in this affair. I'm Peter Rosenmeyer back uh, with Charlie Conroy. Charlie. Yeah, definitely so that. Slow going in the first uh, first 15, 20 minutes. 20 like, minutes, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, just, uh, as you say, a burst. It really was a burst. and. Uh, Lincoln Sudbury kickoff start off the second half. They're now playing less left to right. Belmont playing right to left in the lighter jerseys. Jack Townsend was an adventurous kick through, which is very good. It's going to go out. Oh, right. and it's going to be a 50-22. It's got to be a 50-22. That ball went. Oh, oh it's like a yard oh. shy. And that is a Belmont. Uh, that's Zach, a Belmont assistant coach. You think he could give us the extra yard? But no, he's an honest man, and uh, the ball went out. So the 50-22. If you kick your ball from behind, uh, if you kick from behind the 50, 
and it goes out behind the opponent's 22 meter, uh, bouncing in first. Uh, your team uh, gets possession of the throw in, but not to be this time. Definitely an attacking strategy, a new law to the game in the last couple of years, but it's been a great law. It's really given uh, a, a lot of options to gain ground and a lot of accuracy from, uh, from the kickers. So very unlucky not to gain the full advantage there, but despite that still in a very advantageous position here and uh, I think in Sudbury with the throw in, we've seen a lot of crooked throw ins in the first half. Let's see if uh, teams are gonna keep it tighter. Oh, great oh, steal. Great steal by Billy who sees some space, offloads into Enzo. Well done there. Pick and go, pick and go, making meters. Well done, rucked well. Again, the pick and go. Belmont forwards want it. Like three yards out, it's spun out the back. Chuck Townsend spins it out to Jediah. Dancing around, spinning around, making a yard, balls back. Dug out by James McGovern, it's scrum half. There's Enzo. Enzo De La... Enzo Passos wants it. Zach. In at the corner. Oh, was it up? And that's a try. I didn't see who did that. If that was Bowden on the right wing. Not sure. Did you catch that? I, I think it might have been Owen uh, out there on the right wing, uh, number 11, who, uh, okay. who caught that and dotted it down. Uh, pretty sure that was what happened. But yeah, it was a little obscured. Anyway, uh, Belmont scoring right off the bat here uh, in the second half. And uh, again in rugby, uh, the ball, uh, in terms of the conversion kick, the ball comes directly out from where it was touched down in the try zone. And uh, Jack has his hand full with this one, or his foot full with this one, uh, kicking from way over on the sideline. And with the swirling wind as well, really, to add to the... The, the, the joy here of this kick, so this will be a very, very tricky one. It's up, it's away. That and is it's a good. super <laughs> kick. Oh my oh. goodness. Oh, the nice crowd is filtered in here at Harris Field, uh, and they love that kick from yeah. Jack. I think mom and dad Townsend will be proud there with that kick. That was a super Absolutely. one. Absolutely. I have no idea where Jack got his rugby stock from because knowing his mom and dad, there's definitely not an ounce of rugby in either of them. So this is all Jack developing the game and, uh, you know, really, really showing us all how it's done. That was a super kick. He had the wind against him. He was on his wrong foot. He was at the tightest angle to the post as well, like super focus. He does that probably a hundred times a week in practice. So absolutely, practice, Charlie. practice, practice. What you a just kick. kickers just kick and kick and kick. That's it. And there's the boot. Oh, fielded well Good there catch. by the 11, Sebastian Crispert from uh, LS. Big hit by Belmont, but Lincoln Sudbury sending their forwards crashing ahead. Nothing there, the Belmont defensive line up quickly. Big tackle by Iggy De La Fuente there. That was great to stop, stop any kind of movement forward there. The forwards are really putting tackles today. It's just, they have had a hard time breaking through the Belmont uh, defensive line, Lincoln Sudbury, so. And Belmont uh, known for its defense. Uh, of course, one of, our, one of our mantras is defense wins championships, and that's been true at Belmont. Look like the ref uh, signaled an offside and maybe LS playing uh, advantage here, though I don't see the arm up now. But yes, offsides called. And uh, a substitute coming in. No, I think that's the card. I think okay. that's the card coming back on. So in. Jeremy Meserve, our ever watchful uh, and highly uh, rugby intelligent uh, producer here from Belmont Media Center. Jeremy is always a Great, he noticed uh, that in the try scored by Wyatt in the first half that there was a card issued uh, to, the, to an LS player, the number seven, uh, Jamal Merck. 
Uh, and uh, we missed that one, Charlie. We were just gabbing away, chatting about something, but you know, thankfully we have a, a, a third person in our crew here who's keeping an eye on the game for us and uh, was able to point that out. And good, good, uh, good call there that that was the new player coming back in. They were, they were caught right on the half time there, right before the half time uh, for 10 minutes. That's what the yellow card penalty is for. And Belmont stealing the line out with a penalty advantage played. Cross field kick, a uh, kick pass tried, but uh, uh, Belmont alum uh, Jake Cornelius uh, fresh off playing in uh, playing for Navy starting for Navy in the national championship game which unfortunately they lost to St. Mary's in the crowd Wyatt Sclafani with a beautiful Super run super surging run absolutely through absolutely beautiful run lays it back really cleanly this is great opportunity here Here's and Belmont. he's broken through and it's oh great saving tackle Number oh That was Iggy. It was Iggy there. I thought it could have been. It was super play. Uh, and I think that was, I think Iggy was able to, to uh, take that over the try line. Pretty sure, strong run, uh, but really set up by Wyatt. Great, great play. Yeah, that surging run forward. Wyatt did super, broke through three or four tackles. Once brought down, put a really clean ball back, which was fed out. And a couple of plays later, big second row, plows through a scattered defense and, and stretches out to put the ball down. So super, uh, super try and a much easier kick for, uh, for Jack Townsend right now. So you were talking about the alumni and uh, um, a national game you were saying, is that right? Uh, yeah, a Belmont alum, uh, Jake Cornelius in the crowd now and uh, played for uh, Played for uh, the midshipmen this uh, this year. Got a start as a freshman. Uh, played really, really well uh, all season long. And uh, um, after beating Life University uh, in Annapolis in the semifinal game, lost to St. Mary's in the final. But what a season for Navy. Uh, and uh, what an exciting opportunity for Jake to uh, to start the national championship game. Amazing, yeah, brilliant. To go from high school rugby to a national championship college rugby in a season, it's quite a leap. So clearly a very, very talented individual and hopefully a very bright future in the game, uh, both at Navy and beyond. So LS with the kickoff, Belmont fields it well, cleans up at the 40. Score now is 34 points after those two quick tries the second half. 34 points to Belmont, zero to Lincoln Sudbury. Belmont re-establishing their side of possession on the game here and playing most of this game inside of the Lincoln Sudbury half. There's LS with the long kick. And that looks like it went directly out. It's got to go back. Oh, but offsides called on LS. It'll be a uh, penalty to to Belmont, and uh, Jack will try and find touch here with a nice opportunity for the Marauders. And that is good throw, great throw. Nope. So they're deep now, back inside of. Uh, the Warriors half were what, probably on the 10 yard line there from the from the goal line. It's a throw into Belmont. They really seem to be connecting now. Some of those earlier mistakes are gone and they're making passes, they're making line outs, they're making calls, keeping possession. I've jinxed us again, <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see. Well, again, Belmont oh. really, ooh, not sure what that was, but a free kick called to Belmont. I mean, called to, uh, against Belmont to LS. That may have been delaying the throw in. That yeah. may have been, they just took too long to get into position and take the throw and, and referee right, said en en enough, we've got to get on with the game, so. I think you're right. That free kick, Wyatt handles, sends it back. 
his own accord, takes a bounce. But offsides. Offsides called on the Warriors. A quick tap and go. Belmont seeing an opportunity and pouncing. There comes Enzo. Try scored. Wow, he did Enzo really well. Enzo Passos really well to get that ball over the try line. I didn't think he was there. No, but, it uh, looked short, but he stretched out. Beautiful, beautiful. Another five points uh, to Belmont here. And uh, what was a really tight affair for the first uh, 25 minutes or, sh or so is just, uh, just um, widened in the Marauders' favor. I will, I will, like, I think if you think back to the first 25 minutes of the game, there was a lot of hard tackling put in. There was a lot of running across the field, a lot of really super defense played, and, and that tires you out. Like, you can't keep that up for 80 minutes, and maybe, maybe we're seeing a bit of that now, and a play that didn't quite work in the first half is beginning to gain an extra three, four yards, and uh, suddenly that momentum shifts, and, and we can score, score a few tries. So, Jack, perfect in conversions uh, on the day. Five for five with uh, two penalty kicks added on to that. Yeah, he's, uh, he's great. Great day, for, uh, great day for Jack Townsend. So LS will uh, take the kick here. Yeah, 16 points for Jack so far, and 41 to zero to um, to Belmont. I think we'll start seeing some substitutes coming out. Some substitutes. I, I, I would think so. Yeah. Looks like some kids warming up there on the side. Uh, Coach Bruce in the uh, pregame meeting with the team. Uh, saying that he felt it was a team that was really ready to start finding each other, to start clicking, to start getting really connected. And I think we've seen that in the last 20 minutes, 25 minutes, yeah, Charlie. De definitely, very dominant performance they are. Everything is coming together. The LS just cannot make any yardage. They're, it's unfortunate, like they're trying, they're, they're trying to spread it out wide. They're trying to run the ball, they're trying to find the gap, and I think it's just testament to the Belmont defensive line. It's holding its line, it's moving forward, and it's really closing any space down. And Coach, Coach, uh, Coach will be pleased with this. Absolutely. Well, once again, I think that wind wrecking havoc in the line, and not straight, so scrum down or Yep, scrum down to LS. <laughs> nice bit of energy in the stands tonight, isn't there? There's a good bit of banter, as you said, a, a few uh, alumni coming back from college uh, from the different years. There's girls team players down here. There's parents down. It's uh, quite a nice evening here at, the, at Harris Field. Always great when the uh, when the girls come out to support, the, the decibel level in the stands goes way up and the energy goes way up. Oh, there's a nice kick by LS. Wyatt back, can't handle it. Oh, Lincoln Sudbury with a beautiful play. And the Warriors are on the attack. Playing in from Belmont's 40. Here's an opportunity and they feel it. They can feel it, yeah, that's... Uh... Holding on to the ball, though. You can't do that. <clears throat> so once you're tackled, you need to release the ball and uh, let the ruck play itself out. You can't hang on to it. So not releasing the call. And uh, what was a promising moment for Lincoln Sudbury has evaporated. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not quite sure which of the Belmont players there had the at their hands on the ball, but it was um, great work by them in that ruck to use their full body weight to hold themselves up and claim the ball and force the 
forced a penalty by by Lincoln. Really, the guy they were going to lose it, and uh, and Belmont have the advantage again. Good eyes, Charlie. I missed that. So it was a forced penalty by Belmont, holding the ball in. Uh, strategic, great defensive move, creating the turnover, and uh, Belmont in good, in good attacking position here at the 25 with the throw in. Goes to the front. Zach gains a couple meters. Belmont, LS trying to counter Ruck, unsuccessful there. Enzo gathers that. Offloads to Billy, offloads to Josh. Good hands by Josh, yeah, but was, offsides. Yeah, I think that player in front of the player took the ball there as That's it bobbled. Right. So yeah. accidental, but it's a it's a um, penalty to LS. Give them an opportunity to clear out of their half, which they pull it just shy of the halfway line. <coughs> So what's the postseason like? Is there um, dates yet for any games? If uh, assuming Belmont can keep this advantage and go through, um, or will they? Is, do you know? Uh, oh, well, one would assume if we uh, if we hang on to this one and win it, um, that uh, Belmont will earn a, a spot in the postseason, um, and that will begin right in the beginning of June, and there will be three rounds of postseason play. Um, that uh, that will conclude in a national champ uh, in a state championship uh, game, I think, on the 15th of June. But I, I don't know. I don't have my calendar right in front of me here. So nice play by Belmont again on the attack. Oh, oh. unfortunate attempt to offload there as a, as he was going to ground uh, resulted in a turnover. The pass went to an LS player. And Lincoln Sudbury will look to clear. There's the clearance kick. Wyatt chips over. Oh, there's he's got the, the bounce. He's got the ball back. <laughs> and he offloads to Bodie. Bodie settles it. Nice job. There's Zach. Zach running hard. But. Ah. Oh. A little, a little confused by that call, a knock-on call with a scrum down to Belmont, but uh, would have seemed to me that they could have played the advantage there. Charlie? Yeah, that definitely was um, definitely was a call that you know can go either way. The ref just probably felt that some maybe it was best just to call it back for a scrum based on the infringement, and uh, it did look like an advantage situation, but. Of course, in rugby, uh, everywhere in the world, the ref's word is law, the sir is respected, and uh, there's no arguing. Nice pass, Bodie, to Wyatt. Wyatt finds some meters, drives ahead, held up there by LS, but he goes to ground. James goes weak side. Belmont, that's, that's Bryce, the number eight. And Tamara say, hey, the Tamer, captain. There we go, he deserves that. Tamara's been all over the field tonight. Absolutely. Instrumental in these rucks, like really, really leading the team from the front. So great to see him get on the score sheet, he deserves that. Great bit of play there, a lot of, lot of, uh, lot of Belmont players getting involved. So we're gonna see uh, gonna see some substitutions here. Looks like uh, Xavier is gonna come on for James. James McGovern with a great game tonight and exciting for Xavier. Uh, sophomore to get out and get some time in this varsity game. Yeah, James McGovern was great there at the at the base of that scrum and the rock. He was under a lot of pressure at times and uh, did a great job getting the ball out to his, uh, hit the offload out to his teams or uh, to his backs or the, the forward who was coming in close. So 
Great work and very quick to the breakdown throughout the game. Scrum half's a great position. You're in the middle of it. You're just always the in the time. middle of it. All There's the just time. no stopping. You gotta have like full charge batteries, yeah, yeah, and replacements if you need them because uh, it's just go go go. And uh, you call a lot of shots, like you really do. And it's uh, you gotta keep your heads up. And where's your right half? What does he want to do? Where's your pack? What's the move? And you're thinking of 50 things at once while trying to keep an eye on the ball. So, absolutely. So. Uh, Xavier, I think you're going to see some exciting stuff from as well. And that ball uh, bounces in and goes directly into touch. So I took my refereeing course this year. I'm a qualified referee for... Uh, Rugby now for this oh, year. Oh, that's great, Charlie. Yeah. Well, we look forward to you uh, coming out and uh, throwing some games, I mean, calling some games for, <laughs> for Belmont. That'll be great. I have to get my games in, so yeah. it's good. Uh, it was exciting. It was good to do it and good to focus in on the laws of the game again. And uh, it's tough. You think it's easy, but uh, you've got to watch many, many things as well. So, um, Absolutely. And, and uh, the dynamic nature of of rugby and uh, and the fact that you're all alone out there, um, it really is uh, an incredibly challenging thing, as well as the calls uh, can be subjective at times. That's right, you can't see it all, right? right. And you've no video <laughs> replay. That's the one thing that, uh, you know, that is a big thing. It's easy from the sidelines to kind of see what's going on, but uh, anyway, it's great. I, I can't wait to get out and, uh, and, and get involved in the game. It's uh, such a super game. So LS now putting together a couple of strings of play here, a couple of rucks passes. They're still 10 yards inside their own half. Trying to just break through that defense. <coughs> Moving the ball nicely out the wing. Oh, driven driven back. back. Wow, three, four yards there, great tackle. Using their hands there to scoop the ball back, Belmont. A penalty to LS. So once that ruck is formed, you can't get your hands in. You have to. You have to. The ball has to be fed out the back of the ruck. And Belmont trying to. Play that one out, unfortunately. Call there, so it'll be a LS line out. So Charlie at the Simmons is coming in there. Looks like for, uh, gosh, I'm not sure for Ignacio maybe. And uh, uh, I think it, both Iggy and Zach are coming off. And uh, my Michael, guess is Michael uh, Farah came in. Michael Farah's in, and Charlie. Charlie I would guess Simmons, it would be yep. Charlie and. Uh, I guess it would be Charlie and Charlton who would be. Uh, on in the front row now. So good shifts by uh, Belmont forwards. And again, with 102 boys uh, playing rugby, it's uh, we've got a lot of depth here and a lot of a lot of really talented replacements. High tackle called on Belmont. So with about 10 minutes left, LS. And they have an attacking position playing in. Looks like LS are making a couple of subs here. Number 20, Adam Morrissey is in. Not exactly sure who he came in for, but it uh, looks like the number nine is out. And the 22, uh, Cole Stamper, is going to take over at scrum half. Looks like Carlin's out there. Number 62 is out, so... <clears throat> LS here now inside the Belmont half, 10 yards inside. On our, uh, oh, again, high tackle again by Belmont. Belmont has to be careful here. Quick tap. Belmont trying to force the play out of, out of bounds into touch. Now held up, held up by Belmont. And held up successfully again. So I think of 
fourth time we've seen that this great, match. Great turnover there again. Great work by the by the front the pack there to hold that up. I think that was a couple of the new guys coming in. I, I saw number 22 there, which is Charlie Simmons. I think he was in the middle of that all. So good work, good way to establish yourself in the game in the first couple of minutes. So <laughs> scrum to Belmont. They are sort of halfway inside their own half. So Xavier will put the ball in. And good scrum, strong. Jack sends it long. Oh, great, great, great catch there by Lincoln Sudbury, who's good kick. Wyatt sends it back again. The chase is on. Oh, oh. straight out, I think. That was out on the full. No, I think it was behind the 22, though. He was okay, you're yeah, right. Yeah, I think yeah. he was behind the 22, so I think that's uh, that's okay. It'll be LS put in, but a nice clearance kick uh, by Wyatt, who was under some pressure and got that one off. It's a turnover in the line out by Belmont. Spinning out right here. Out to Jediah. It was a bit of a wild pass there. <laughs> but it's okay, it's cleaned up. There goes Charlie. First touch of the ball for the big man. Nice run forward, finds the game line. And that ball. Oh. It, yeah. That's right, it went directly out. So it'll be a line out back here at the 50. With about seven and a half minutes left to play, the score Belmont 46, Lincoln Sudbury nothing. LS with the throw in. And Iggy, after a really strong game, comes off. Uh, and I think Artyom, yep, Artyom Yusayan is coming on. in the flanker spot. So some Belmont more Belmont substitutions. Oh, oh great nice steal. steal. Billy with the steal. There it is, ball comes out. Xavier, Jediah, Jediah sees some space. Oh, tried to get the ball out, but it's good. Belmont still have it. Great searching run here. He's gonna, Colin with the run, Colin. Finds Josh on the outside. Josh looked to have the try. He looked to be over. The Sir was obstructed from view. Oh, what a great bit of play by great Belmont. Great play. I apologize to the viewing public. I got in the way of the camera. And don't worry, we can't see the play either. <laughs> so held up, which will be a goal line uh, goal line dropout. So in uh, Josh unable to get that ball, touchdown in the try zone. Uh, LS managing to hold the ball up off the ground, and that'll result in a drop kick from the try line. So the kick. Goes directly out, oh, and nice. that'll be a five meter scrum for Belmont. And I would expect. I'd expect to see a eight man pick off the, uh, off think, the back of this so. scrum here, but uh, let's see what Belmont has in store. So I think Josh Christensen has uh, moved from the flanker position uh, into uh, the eight-man spot. Yep. Some of these substitutions, the forwards have moved around a little bit. And Belmont, there's the ball from Xavier. There it is. No, it's going to come to the backs. 
Comes out. Scissors play. Colin in and for the, in try. the try. Wow, very That's good. That's a nice, nice bit of backs running, just what we were hoping for, yes, Charlie. Yes, Colin Green there on the very deliberate move again. They practice that on the field every day of the week, these moves, and uh, it's got to be inch perfect for it to work, and great, great coordination. Everybody knew their position, and a great try. Well worked. So uh, the newest member of the uh, Belmont rugby community, Theo Barron's in the stands with us so this evening. Uh, Theo riveted by the play on the field here. <laughs> His dad, Tim, of course, a, a coach, uh, head coach of the C-Squad developmental team. I have the privilege of being out on the pitch with Tim every day and uh, just an absolute pleasure. Well, she looks very happy right now at the score, and why wouldn't she at 53 points? This, he, sorry. That's Excuse okay. Me. No, you can't tell from here. And uh, 53 points to zero, there's definitely uh, yeah. a lot to be pleased about. Yeah, by the looks of it, Theo thinks it's a snoozer. <laughs> I thought you had said Cleo. There. Oh, I need to go. Oh, yeah, I need everything did. checked. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. So, 53 to nothing here at Harris Field. So, ball handled by Belmont. Lincoln Sudbury running hard across the field. Rucked well by the Warriors. Good tackle by Tanner there to bring that down at full speed. Stop the play, another great tackle. Some really Billy. tight tackling here. That was Billy, very Billy good. Billy Hendrickson, really one of the, one of the, and again, Billy turnover there. into contact, forcing the turnover. There's Billy something Hendrick on here, if they can move it out, they've yeah, got a lot, got a lot of, of numbers on, on the left here, Charlie. Yeah, I need to get it out, Jack, that's it. There's Wyatt. Over to Jediah, surging through, uh, still on his feet. Jediah releasing the ball, tackled, releasing the ball, get regathering it, and continuing down the pitch. Beautiful. Look like Charlie crashing the ball ahead. Here's Charlton. Nice phases by Belmont. Ball comes wide to Wyatt. Cena. Cena Rastamenizad. There's Josh on our breakthrough again. This is going to look good. This, I can't see Belmont not scoring here. Out. Wyatt. Wyatt is going to surge through. Five yards out. Great ball retention, great turnover here. Our <laughs> ball retention to Belmont. Tamer, again running hard. Ah. It's through the middle. And That's there is, I think that was Charlie. Yep. So Charlie Simmons crashing through. And uh, as we were talking about, you know, a lot of a lot of big guys come over from playing other sports and they maybe haven't gotten to handle the ball or run the ball very much. And in rugby, there's opportunity for everybody to it's, put points it's on. It's fantastic, yeah. Every player is uh, of every size, of every speed is uh, welcome on the field. Everyone has a, has a part to play in the puzzle, so it's great. So, Jack with a drop kick there to add two more and make it a clean 60 to nothing as time is running out here at Harris Field. What a gorgeous uh, 45 minutes of rugby we've seen. That last bit of the first half and this entire second half absolutely dominated by the Marauders who connected and found each other. 
It really was, but it was really great and great to see. And um, you know, thoroughly deserved. Lincoln Sudbury were held to uh, held inside their own half most of the game, and and uh, we're waiting to see if the ball goes ten yards here. It doesn't, and uh, not quite sure what that was supposed to do. But we're back here for a scrum at the half, and I think this will probably be the last play of the game. I would, I would imagine, imagine. Belmondo. Belmont will just try to kick this into touch to end things here. Again, the last regular season home game for the Marauders. A couple more games to play away. Uh, and Belmont with a really convincing win here. This team is going to be very, very excited to go into the last part of the season. So, final score at the whistle. Marauders 60, Warriors 0. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Peter Rosenmeyer. I'm Charlie Conroy. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Have a good night.